In this video, I'll show you what to do when things don't appear in your Adobe Captivate project. Okay, so this should be a very quick video today because this is really easy to fix. But I've seen a lot of comments on the forums and in the user groups and so on about people who are building their Adobe Captivate projects. And when they go to preview them or publish them, they're not seeing all of the objects that appear on their timeline. So for example, you might have some narration and then at five seconds, you know, a, a shape appears with some text in it or uh, perhaps a text caption slides in from the side but for whatever reason that's not showing up the narration goes through but the animated objects that appear on the timeline just aren't doing that here's how you troubleshoot that so take a look at this slide here i blurred this out because this is a client's uh, piece of work here but take a look at the timeline so you can see here's my audio narration along the bottom here and we have you know the uh, the, the topic title here, we've got some uh, clipboard elements that have been copied and pasted into this project. And we've got some delayed objects that, you know, come in in time, presumably, with the narration that you see down below. Well, you know, again, I saw this earlier this week, a client of mine reached out to me and said, I'm not seeing these additional items show up. Here's what you're looking for right here. And that's the pause point for any kind of interaction such as a button or a shape used as a button or an image used as a button all of these types of objects have a pause point because when we're waiting for our learners to click on a button for uh, for example uh, you know we're going to stay on the slide until they do that and the pause point determines when that's going to happen so we obviously don't want this slide to pause until all of our animated objects appear on the timeline say somewhere around 11 or 12 seconds so i can select this image that i'm using as a button go over to the timing panel and change this from pausing at 1.5 seconds to another later time in this case here i'm going to go with 11.5 that's far enough after any animation or fade effects and now of course i'll be able to see everything that happens on this slide if you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.